Welcome back to this What Am I tutorial series. So we, in the last video we created this group patch and again I'd recommend going back to the previous video and the first video to sort of see how we got to this stage. So now I have this setup done I now need to start plugging in our parameters. So the great thing about this group patch is we're going to, we can now create multiple copies of this for each of our questions and we don't need to uh, really go back into here because we've all got our inputs and outputs uh, readily available. So I'm going to go from my head rotation. So we've already said in the last video that leaned left will be our true. So we link our leaned left to our true input on our, that, our group patch. And we're going to use leaned right to be false. And what's going to happen is this question enabled down here will be will be the thing that tells us what question is currently or what value we've currently got down here. So if the value down here is equal to the value that is input on the counter, this will fire a signal, which will then tell it that this question is now active or not active. We got uh, hence why, like I said in the last video, we will need to revisit this in the future in that kind of stage right now. So we don't need anything coming from equals zero. So equals zero, we can just move out of the way and just ignore. That's kind of done its job. But equals one, which will be our first question, we do need to say if it's equal to one, we want this to be enabled. So the logic that we set up in here and set up from now on will be active. So we're going to take our value or our top output and create a, another value patch just so we can visualize what we're doing so we can see the value that's coming out of there. I'm going to then create an equals exactly patch. So if this equals one, I want it to do one thing. If this equals two, I want it to do another. So I'm just going to leave it on that question so you can see what's see it firing in real time. So, so if this is equal to one, everything from here one will be shown. If it's equal to two, everything from here will be shown, and vice versa. Also, the result will be passed on. So, from the first equals exactly, I'm going to add an and and again don't worry if you can't follow along this is quite complicated so if this is equals to one then we want our true rectangle which again make sure that you're using the rectangle under the first question so just to make it more visually easy i'm just going to close all the other questions up so you can just see what i mean so we're using the canvas that's embedded in question one and we want to make sure the true value is visible, is linked to our AND patch up here. So if this is equal to 1 or true, then this will be visible. However, if this is equal to 2, then this would be visible. So again, I'm just going to create one more AND patch. So the reason we're using AND patches is to basically say, to do a double check to make sure that it's not going to just show the value uh, randomly and it actually has to meet a set of parameters. Now theoretically this has already been checked by the initial input here. However, for my own sanity's sake, I quite often like to double verify. So this again is probably a bit overkill. You could probably actually do it without this. You could probably just link it directly in without the AND at this stage. But I like to have the AND in there as a double check. So as you can see, when it goes left it goes green, when it goes right it goes red. So I can now, I'm going to now drag from this value and add an add. So I'm just going to move this set away because again, this is going to get in our way. We don't need to look at that. So we should have this and add value. And it is this add value that will basically start taking into account each of the values that are gathered on each of these questions. So now I've set that up. I can just copy these patches here not the uh, two that's on the canvas. Copy and paste. And I just need to change 
the links to the question enabled. So now I want this to be my second question. So I'm going to link my second question equals exactly two to the question enabled and to my two potentially redundant and patches here. Like so. I'm now going to close my question one null object and open up question two null object. Again, select my true value uh, visibility for that and link for that rectangle, link that up like so. Likewise with the false. And then I'm going to click and drag from my value that's on this question two and hook that up to my add, which was created here. So this is what I mean about it becoming like a spaghetti junction. It's going to become quite messy to follow from this stage. And um, but this is the rationale for why all this is the case. So just again, test this. I'm on the second question, so you can see that it's carrying across the values. And we just need to do this for each of our questions. So again, I'm just going to duplicate these patches here, paste them, move them down. And then just link, break the link to the previous question and link it to the question three. And again, I don't need to oop, don't need to worry about the uh, equal six because equal six is just going to be our answer. So that can also be just moved out of the way for now. And then again, I'm going to close up question 2 null object, open up question 3 null object, select my true on the canvas, link that to the top end, select the false, link that to the bottom end. And then I'm going to drag from my value over to the grey area, add another add. So we should, so basically using question 1 and 2 to add together, question 3 and 4 to add together, and then we're going to add together all of them at the end essentially. So that's a uh, question three now set up. So let me just go to question three and test it. Let's just reset. So question one. Question two. Question three. And that should all be uh, working as I expect, which is good. So again, I'm just now to paste the group patch and again just change the inputs to be the next question along so question equals four 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 close up question three null object open up question four null object select my true visibility link that into the and set the false visibility and link that to the and and then I'm going to click and drag from my value into my add. So my second add here. So we should have two add values taking in questions one and two, three and four. And now for question five, we're going to need to do it one more time. There'll be something slightly different about this one though, which I will show you in a second. So again, like the reason we created an odd number of questions is so we can take in odd values so we can actually got a better chance of getting a more accurate result. I found that, I found that when I had less than uh, when I had four questions of initially it actually would sometimes give me the same result for two of them which is exactly what I was trying to avoid. Let's just move this down a bit. So I'm going to close up question four null object, open up question five null object, select my true visibility, link that to the top input on question on this one, false visible input, and this is a second down here. And now I'm going to drag from my and over to space, add and add. And this add I'm going to move along a bit further because we now just need to, again I'm just going to move this out of the way. And now I need to add these two, one and two, and three and four, so these two ands that we created at the beginning or earlier. I'm just going to create another add. Add these two values together, like so. And 
And then I'm going to link this ad that's been done here to the spare slot on the ad on question five. So we should have one and two, three and four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and five all added together. So this is the final value that'll be the end result of all these questions being asked. So if I just for a second just plug in a value just to show you and see if this is working. And I'm just going to go to live feed so I can do this a bit quicker. So question one, yes. Question two, yes. Three, no. Four, no. Five, no. So that should give us a value of eight. So now if uh, this value of eight equals that animal, then we want it to just tell us that result and not show us anything else. This is where things can again get a little bit more complex. We will revisit this in the next part of it, the next video. So again, I'll see you again soon. All this will be available via Patreon once this is all finished. And I thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again soon.